Okay. Now tuned into the greatest. Turn the music up in the headphones. Wasn't really cold start, been driving all day. But, um, what is up YouTube? Mark Hicks coming at you with another video. Uh, I suck at filming. I suck at remembering what I filmed and what I haven't. So, obviously the purpose of this video is to showcase the new exhaust. Um, I can't remember if I introed it. I don't know what I was doing. But I was on a trip and I hope you can see that footage. Um, so you can kind of hear it just driving in in normal circumstances i know when i'm looking at car reviews about say like an exhaust i the stuff i want to hear is just kind of living with it what it sounds like at startup from different mode selections and just for people that potentially would want to buy an exhaust like this just to give you some gauge it wouldn't be like obviously the company that i bought from Flowmaster does not pay me, so it really benefits me nothing to be like, go buy this. Like, I'm not being paid, but but I just I just like uh, updating about the mods and different stuff I do to the car to try to make it more enjoyable and something I like more. Um, my last video I talked about when it's spring, I like to try to do something like fresh to kind of get me like back in love with driving the car you know I, I don't know it's 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 weird but so obviously this time we blacked out the stuff outside and we added the exhaust for like a performance type like a game that is like noticeable and kind of changes the car characteristics so like the title says I bought two exhausts but I quickly returned one of them the more expensive of the two, the Borla one. Um, I just thought it was too loud. I, I don't know. It's, it's just too loud for me and what I'm really, you know, trying to accomplish in my life. I uh, just felt like I didn't want to be that much of a bother. And yeah, just, just too loud. So I went with the Flowmaster American Thunder exhaust. Um, with the NPP valve so it can be it can be turned you know low-key like I can make it so it's not obnoxious it's as quiet as a Camry like I can make it quiet so that was one of the big selling points I thought about the about that exhaust um, just the fact that I can make it go uh, go silent and that's one of the things that I really wanted in the exhaust american thunder exhaust from flowmaster i liked it because it has two two exhausts so technically the title is still not clickbait it does have two exhausts in one it uses their delta little uh, their delta series as the main like big like muffler thing that you see and then it also functions as kind of like a straight pipe with the normal exhaust. So if I have it in sport mode, the normal with the valves open, it's almost like straight piped. So as you can see, it's chrome tipped. I always thought I wanted a black tip to kind of match the overall aesthetic of the car, but chrome tips, I thought in the videos and now that I see them, they look very nice. Um, the guy that I had install them, like the flush thing, I know most people, so the normal fit, the exhaust tips would be like right here so kind of sticking out but i kind of like the flush look and it's a, it just requires you to cut more of the pipe that already is on the car so it's not that big of a deal but as you can see the valve is open and it is there so it it maintains the factory mpp valve and everything so like i said when the exhaust is when the exhaust is on it's coming out of both pipes but this one mainly so it's kind of just straight piped and it just goes straight back. But then when you close that valve, it pretty much just shoots out of here and maintains their, and uses their Delta little 
muffler right here the big black one and so it kind of muffles it but it still has almost like a factory nice sound to it i'll do a startup and revs just with this gopro mic so it might not be the best but startup and revs switch over and shut off the valve so you can see kind of what happens to the sound so as you can see the valve is closed and so it's just going out this exhaust you can feel it so it's hot air coming out of here nothing coming out of here That was with the valves closed. Uh, I think it sounds nice. Pretty much both dynamics of the car. Exhaust videos are kind of hard. It's kind of just like random stuff to film. And it's pretty much just showing you guys through some editing and what it sounds like and what changed. Um, I really like the American Thunder. Uh, keeps that MPP valve so it, it can go quiet. Obviously it's Flowmaster. Flowmaster's been around for a while so they know what they're doing all the stuff is nicely welded it, it fits nice it's it's an easy install um a lot of people do it themselves but uh my guy only charged me 80 bucks so for 80 bucks i can get somebody to professionally get it on or i can save 80 bucks and try to do it with myself like an idiot yeah so i really like the exhaust it's quiet obviously right now no no throttle no anything it's pretty quiet but i do like the low just deep growl it gives you even when you're just barely touching the pedal and with the throttle controller obviously more there's more you're putting more it's revving higher faster so at low rpms it does sound well not low rpm but low speed it does sound very nice um yeah that's that's pretty much it Hopefully the highway clips are working. I know the main question people get when they put on a new exhaust is, does it drone? And I can honestly say there is no drone, nothing like that. Um, the only noise you hear inside the car is just the casual road noise. And obviously I'm gonna get that. I have street, I have pretty much street drag tires. So the NT 555Rs. So I have a lot of road noise. <laughs> 305s in the back, so I have a ton of road noise. But in terms of the exhaust, I there you don't really hear anything. Even when I'm a, say I'm cruising at 75 miles per hour, um, even when the engine has to catch up and we're going up a hill, so it actually has to put on the throttle, you still don't hear anything. I'm in sport mode right now. So if I close the valve and go to touring mode, it gets even less quiet when accelerating, but still there's really no drone. You're just, you're just gonna hear road noise. Yeah, so right now we're in sport mode, going like 60. does the performance shift activated or whatever whatever but um uh, it sounds good and i like the exhaust from a point where it sounds good like half throttle that was my thing with the with the just stock exhaust it always sounded good when you got on it and it sounded it sounded loud whatever it was good but half throttle or just even barely any throttle 
there was just nothing there like you couldn't hear anything it was quiet so i mean for the people that for the people that that's they that's they vibe then yeah it was perfect for that it was quiet when it needed to be and loud when it needed to be but this exhaust especially with the throttle controller just barely any pressure on on the throttle you can you can hear it and i like that and i like the deep tone of the exhaust oh. like that's like half throttle maybe even less than that and it sounds it sounds good like it just sounds good but yeah that's that's the exhaust video i don't know i got a couple videos coming i got q5 videos coming um we'll see how the range Rover fans handle handle a couple q5 videos but um yeah for my camaro people the content there'll be racing content stuff like that uh but yes also keep in mind with the exhaust i'm running strictly e85 right now like so i've never just gone full i'll put full 91 in the tank soon and there will be a big difference like it will be because it's just 85 runs so smooth it kind of muffles the actual exhaust note but if i put 91 it'll get louder so i'm kind of interested to see but i don't know when i'm actually going to put a full tank of uh, 91 in because also i want to race so we'll see but it will get louder so keep in mind it's kind of muffled just from e85 and i hope the cameras did it justice but yeah that will be all for the exhaust video um yeah like share and subscribe please if you could share a video like if i see people like sharing it to twitter and i will search the notification so i can kind of see but obviously i will really appreciate it if you do share the video with your people youtube is kind of kind of at a point where it only wants to talk about the big channels so the small channels it's kind of like it's not pointless to post a video because i don't really post it for any particular reason but youtube doesn't pay anything but it would mean a lot to be shared and we're almost at 7,000 subscribers so that's pretty cool um yeah car content is fun it's funner than the shoe content even though i have way more subscribers but hey it is what it is but yeah hope you enjoyed the video and we'll catch you on the next one